Welcome to HeroQuest fans. So we got our Mage of the Mirror stream just about ready here. Welcome Glasgow. How's it going? Doing alright? Hey, how you doing my man? Alright? Oh yeah, I'm doing fine. I just did my apology video on the rant cast and here I am. <laughs> ready to go. I'm so glad I was wrong. Your apology video. Yeah. So, okay. Uh, maybe you missed all this, but um, there was a rumor going around that uh, Against the Ogre Horde was canceled or possibly would just be an exclusive. They oh, yeah. I mean, I heard, I heard that, but I, I didn't I didn't for a minute think canceled. I just thought canceled at retail. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. So I kind of got flew off the handle about that, but they've now confirmed that... Uh, yeah, it is coming to other stores too. Now they didn't say when precisely, but presumably these other stores that are showing pre-orders are not canceling. So I think that's a good sign. Yeah, I mean, lo lots of online retailers here um, are are just showing its pre-order. So I think that was just a fly in the ointment, that one that we heard about. Yeah. Yeah, and several people told me, oh, this miniature market is, you know, huge. They're really, really big. You know, they're gigantic. It's like, okay, well, so I was thinking, okay, domino effect. That's going to mean all these other stores, but apparently not. Now, why why would they particularly get snubbed? Or maybe just that agent had bad information, worded it poorly in the email. Who knows? But, yeah. Yeah, it could be any number of things, yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, mistakes happen. I, I, I often wonder if those pre-order pages, like, are those store... Well, I guess they're not really doing anything wrong, because back in the day, I always heard, you know, with video games, like GameStop, they had this rule that, okay, let's say February 1st is the release date for some Call of Duty game. They won't sell it, even if you see it s sitting there on the shelf in the shrink wrap, they will not sell it to you until February 1st, you know, at midnight the previous day, so... And if they do sell it uh, before that, they can get in big trouble. Um, but announcing a pre-order, I guess, you know, taking a pre-order is not necessarily the same thing. So they can probably do that without any, any issues. But with past releases, you did have, you know, Amazon selling it before the supposed release date. And so, like, were they breaking some agreement or was it a case of maybe they just told them, yeah, go ahead and then they just didn't get a chance to actually update the release date until later. I mean, think about the Wandering Monk. It was January 15th, but then you started seeing it other places, and then they said, oh, just kidding, January 2nd. <laughs> so it's like, all right. Yeah, well, we, we, we still haven't seen it, on the sh seen it on the shelves here. I mean, I can buy it. I can buy it on eBay. I missed the pre-order, and yeah. I can buy it on eBay if I want to, but that's going to cost me like three times its value. So I'm just going to no, wait for it to it. show up in one of the local comic stores. Um, but it's not on the shelves yet here. Um, so in the UK, um, yeah, I think yeah. I think you've got the right idea. I've said this for years, and people take issue with with me saying it. Fine, just difference of opinion. I look at pre-orders, and I'm like, no. Every time, and it's just, I rarely ever pre-order anything. But the few times I've pre-ordered, there's always been delays and snafus with my payment and shipping. And then I see it coming out other places much faster. I always have bad luck with it. So I've kind of bad-mouthed it and said, you know what? I don't, a pre-order does not guarantee, first of all, that I'm even going to get a product. Because if it really is canceled, it doesn't matter. They just refund your money. Are they better? <laughs> you know, and it doesn't guarantee that you're going to get it on release day. Because if they run out of stock, you got to wait anyway. And sometimes Oh, yeah, absolutely. Just... I've been yeah. there before when, uh, when, yeah. pre when pre-orders, you're waiting for your pre-order, then you see it in the shop. <laughs> so you you kind of want to buy it. Because as much as I, I do do pre-order sometimes, I mean, not for everything, but I do pre-order sometimes. But nothing beats that feeling of finding something in the shop and snapping it up and taking it home and it's great you know it's like mm -hmm. it's much better i agree with you finding like, it in the wild as they say yeah it's like finding buried treasure i mean yeah you're still paying for it well that's the other thing price uh sometimes people are like well no i pre-order because i don't want the price to go up but it's like most of the time at least with these products it's like the same price if it's not a limited release if it's just a retail product it's going to be the same and in fact the price is probably going to drop so if you're one of those people that has to have it on day one, 
a pre-order is not a guarantee of anything really i mean now people who criticize my opinion on that have said well no pre-order is important to the company because it's like publicity and it gives them a gauge of like what the interest is and you know how many units they should make and you know there might be a delay so you might not get it and there's like all this stuff it's like okay fine i get that that makes sense but it's going to be a wide release so they should know better that i mean you have a set of hardcore people who are going to buy it sight unseen like the first day but then what about everybody else you know I mean, people like people like us are, are hardcore HeroQuest fans, they and are. as much as there's worse things in the world, <laughs> if I found out that Against the Ogre Horde was being cancelled, as in cancelled, then I would fly off the handle too, and uh, that's just me. Yeah. And I suppose, yeah, ultimately, I mean, I own the classic Against the Ogre Horde. I can play it right now. And even if I didn't, I could print it and use proxies. Like, I have ogre figures that I could use. But it's just that idea that they promised something and then thought that because of some stupid policy, they're just going to take it away or make it really, really hard to get. That's that's what the, triggered me on it. <laughs> yeah. So. yeah, I mean, I've, 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 I'm the same. I've got the, the original against the Ogre Horde, but I'm really, really keen to see what Avalon Hill have done with this one. Oh, yeah, um, what are these new quests looking like? What are they going to have in the set? How is it going to tie in? I'm really, really interested. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, Avalon Bill, before his, he was laid off, he talked about the arena mode. And now we've seen this uh, Pixie Games website mentioning the arena. It doesn't tell us anything other than it exists. So we're thinking it's a tile. What kind of tile? Like a big... Oh, yeah. There's something, something of, yeah. Wasn't there something about an arena mat or something? Well, yeah. It could be a tile. It could be a mat. It could be several things that come together into one. I'm guessing it's one item, but I guess we don't really know. This is Pixie Games. It's in French. But see how the arena is like listed as one item? I mean, would it be a multi-part thing that fits together? I'm sort of picturing like the tavern well, or the plaza. You know, you flip it over and maybe it's one image on one side, one on the other. What's all this about the spelling of Horde? Isn't H Horde is H-O-R-D-E, is it not? Well, there's two types. There's like the Mongol Horde, like a big army. And then there's like Horde, like you're hoarding things, like you're gathering things together. Like a, you hoarded a bunch of gold together in a stash. Ah, uh, yeah. I, hoarded, I hoarded copies of Against the Ogre Horde. <laughs> yeah, they are, the box is misspelled. It's completely... Uh, uh, there we go. Done with the computer. Yes, See, hoarding disorder. The Mayo the Clinic beam. tells you, don't. Do yeah. <laughs> no, don't show us. <laughs> Casting. Okay. Hey, Bohemius. And I think Ruby also said hi. So welcome. Yeah, guys. So yeah, we're just talking about the fact that Avalon Hill is officially confirmed. And thank you, Doug, Doug Hopkins, for posting about it. And thank you, Seekosh Shem, and everybody else. I mean, it was funny because. Like, I kept getting messages like, hey, it's not canceled. It's not canceled. Like, like a dozen of them. And I'm just like, why am I getting all these messages? Like, I didn't say that. It's like, yeah, you kind of did. Like, oh, <laughs> I didn't mean it. <laughs> and I'm glad I, you know, it was it was not true. So it is coming to retail. We don't know if it's going to, you know, be like a same day release or if it's going to be just, you know, sometime later. I, I seem to remember... Both the Dreadvale Dice and the Spirit Queen's Torment Prophecy of Teller had rumors about it being exclusive. Like, people could pre-order something like an hour before, if you were a premium member. But an hour? I mean, who cares about that? It's not as if... Well, I think one, the worst the worst case scenario was, oh, we were going to have to wait two months to be able to buy those expansions. Unless we were members. Or unless we went through Hasbro Pulse itself. Because there's, you can get a membership for free, and then there's, or a guest, and then you can have a premium membership where you pay the fifty dollars to get the free shipping, which I don't have, and I refuse to do. Like I don't want to pay money to buy a product, even if it's slightly early. Because honestly, what's going to happen is I'm going to buy it and put it on my shelf, and it's going to sit there for a couple weeks or months before I actually get to it. So it's like, what was the point? Other than, ooh, I got it, <laughs> which I get. You know, there's that psychological, I guess, buzz. 
or finding something. Yeah, I don't I don't order from Hasbro Pulse often enough to yeah. warrant a premium membership. Oh, me neither. Me neither. Um, my my main thing actually from Hasbro is uh, Star Wars. I do sometimes pre-order yeah. Star Wars. Well, and if and you want those. Uh, yeah, I don't blame you. If you want those exclusive things, those sp specialty items, okay, fine, you know, go for it. But when it, for Hero Quest, my my thought is, my sense is, my belief is that it should be for the masses. It should be for the people. It shouldn't be something where you have to sign up on a specific website and become a member and pay a fee, and then it's only available for a limited time. That seems antithetical to the whole idea of Hero Quest, which is that this is not just a nostalgia cash in. This is just like the old hero quest in the sense that this is a game you buy that can get you maybe interested in tabletop gaming maybe introduce you to the hobby of you know fantasy board games or war games or whatever it doesn't have to lead to other things but it's it's like a chance to be exposed to it in a way that's like really easy to understand really easy to mod really affordable yeah. you know yeah I, I agree completely it should be available for everyone hero quest it's that kind of game um, I'm so excited that Against the Ogre Horde becoming a thing makes Wizards of Morkar become closer as a thing. Surely, surely it's going to happen. Yeah, yeah. And I, I would have doubted it, but I think if if all our fears about Against the Ogre Horde turn out to be false, and this jungles of Delthrak maybe gets mentioned, <laughs> it's like, okay, well, I think Wizards of, the Mor of Morkar seems, yeah, like definitely more of a sure thing. I think early on, a lot of us speculated that maybe Wizards of Morkar was such a small pack that they would just try to shoehorn it in with something else. So maybe both of them would be in the same box. Which is 28 figures makes me think, hmm, maybe. But there's no proof of that. And in fact, when I when we talked about that at Gen Con, I think it was kind of a negative response. Like, no, why, why would we do that? We would just expand both of them so that they would each be like a 10 quest pack in the bigger box with some extras thrown in for flavor so yeah and if we did get something like that when would it come out would it is this year 2024 spoken for already or would it be next year i mean the rumors that uh cristobal uh laguardia de morcar on you know the spanish channel he seemed to be hearing that it was 2025 of course, he was also hearing from his source that's sometimes reliable that crypto perpetual darkness is going to be coming out too but I don't know. I I guess I wouldn't be surprised if that happened, but I'd also be thinking, well, that goes against everything they've said to us so far. So I don't know. How how prolific is uh, how prolific is Hero Quest um, at, at retail just in brick and mortar over there uh, now? I mean, we 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 get a lot of it over here. We I see it in a lot of different places. Oh, nice. Well, there's different kinds of stores. Big, big business. Yeah, so so here we've got they call them friendly local game shops. It's you know they sell comics and magic cards and you know D and D stuff and like painting supplies from Warhammer. These specialty shops, all the ones that I've seen, and I'm not in like a big coastal city. Um, I'm in kind of smack in the middle of the country, but all of those shops have at least some representation. So maybe they'll have a game system, but a lot of them will have like one copy of each expansion, except for the the little ones. Except for the hero collections. Mm -hmm. Now I've been well, told. We, we, we see a... it. Oh, sorry. Can I say yeah, this one yeah. more thing? Yeah, yeah. So, so the big box stores that we're used to, the big, huge, like countrywide chains like Target and Best Buy and Walmart, they don't seem to have it. They have it at their online store, but not at their physical store. I've been told by a lot of people that uh, Ollie's, which is kind of like this leftover. Uh, I don't know what do you call it remainder like it's overstock type store they had it when I went there they didn't have it but that was like right before Christmas so I understand I mean all the board games were sold out except for Monopoly <laughs> um, and then the other so that's Ollie's had it people posted photos and then Fleet Farm which is this other I don't know you call it like a man shop <laughs> where they sell like hardware and hunting gear but they also have a big toy section for kids and they supposedly had it I didn't see it there but again, it was before Christmas, could have been picked over. They might not have had many copies. So that to me is a huge thing, like that it's come to retail stores. So I'm, I'm really glad to hear that, you know, in the birthplace of HeroQuest uh, in the UK, that you can actually find it. It's not just, you know. Yeah, I mean, I'm not store. surprised as well, because, you know, when I, when I was a kid, everyone, everyone, all my friends had it as well. It's really, yeah. everyone had HeroQuest. 
So I'm not surprised that it's doing quite well over here. And as well as the comic book stores, which obviously would have it, we've got it in places yeah. like, well, Toys R Us isn't here anymore, but yeah. like your equivalent of Toys, I don't know if you guys have Smiths over there, but Smiths is basically our version of what Toys R Us was. Oh, and they've cool. got it. Yeah, I don't know of any and, big, um, big, huge toy stores that have filled the gap for... Because we had Toys R Us, and before that it was KB Toys, and like places like Kmart, but like all those just went away. So... There might yeah, just be yeah it's a shame. We had, we had like we had, we had three big Toys R Us in the city, and it's a shame they're all gone, but we still have Smiths, which is the kind of big replacement, if you like, a new company, but... Mm-hmm. Cool. Um, you get it there. And also, do you, do you guys have game... Um, so it's like it mainly does mainly does like uh, you know computer games, but but game has some board games as well, and oh. uh, they they always have Hero Quest in stock and the expansions. I haven't heard of it. Um, we have like GameStop, we have video games, etc. I've never seen Hero Quest at those places, but uh, I've seen it at Ga- so so GameStop, Ollie's, Fleet Farm, and then the fro- fr- friendly local game stores. But again, I, I think I've seen photos like on coastal cities, like big, huge, major metropolitan areas. They'll have some store that has it. It's like, oh, okay, that's cool. But yeah, availability is key. Like yeah. for it to be a mainstream game, because not everybody is surfing the web looking for, you know, okay, what's the latest, you know, trend. It's like you're wandering through the aisle looking at games. Like that's how we used to do it. You wander through the aisle, you pick it up, look at it. Oh, this looks like something good for a birthday, Christmas, or hey, let's. You know, we're going to do game night. Let's find a game. And, oh, it's only 90 bucks. Well, you know, it's a big deal, but, you know, we could do it. Well, or maybe I, they look up, I look can up absolutely online imagine. and go, wow, <laughs> everyone loves this. Let's, let's try yeah, it I, I can, I can imagine some. I can imagine some guys, you know, walking through these, these shops just randomly at the weekend or whatever uh, with their families and just said, oh, I had this when I was a kid. We need to get this game. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to yep. get this game for you. The memories, the memories of it. Yeah, because it's Hero Quest. The logo is the same. It looks very, very similar. And I'll tell you, that box, I mean, back in the day, we had the commercials, but the box really sells it. Because when I look at a game and I flip the box over to look at the back, like what do the pieces look like? I'm always disappointed because in my head, I'm always comparing it to Hero Quest. Like it'll be like, oh, there's, you know, four character miniatures and that's it. Or, you know, it's mostly just dice or cards or something like that. It's like, oh, I don't know. Or it's a war game where it's like, you know, 250 bucks and you got to paint everything. It's like, eh, I don't know, <laughs> you know, unless I'm ready for that. But with HeroQuest, you flip it over and it's like, okay, so I get all these miniatures and furniture and different. it's all color coded and there's dice and everything. And there's the cards and the board. It's almost too much. You're just like, I, this is, I can do so much with this. <laughs> it's, it's hard to pass up. So I think that definitely sells it. So if it's there physically for people to look at, that definitely sells it. Just the the sheer size of it, you know, versus just seeing it on a website and going, "Oh, Hero Quest." Uh, I don't know what that is. Yeah, hundred percent. Ruby says when it was sixty dollars at Flea Farm, I was a total steal. Yeah, it would have been hard for me to pass up too, even though I I have it already. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, uh, so yeah, so that's the good news, and we've got Bohemius with us and Jacer. And Glasgow. Oh, and a video of Miniature Market. Oh, so it's actually, it's an actual store. It's not just a website. Nice. I think they start uh, with a, a huge online store and then they open to retail. I think he's explaining the video that I, that I sent you. Oh, cool. But you can see they have a huge storage nice. for the online sales. Yeah, we have a we have a Warhammer store at at a mall, and they're hardly ever open. Like you got to get there, like at a certain time a day. I think they they open at noon, and then they close at two, and then they open at three, and then they're open till nine. So. Yeah, it's it's hard to get in there, but I did get a free mini from them finally. And people have been telling me, "Oh, go there and get a free mini. Get a free mini." Like, okay. And and I certainly got one. And they didn't even uh, make me stay there and paint it. Just like, sure, 
you have any questions, let us know. Otherwise, enjoy. It's like, thanks. I opened it up. It's just a little sprue, a little gray plastic uh, Ravager, I think they called it. It's like a Minotaur, like 40K style character. And then just a little black plastic base that you're supposed to glue him onto. I've got plenty of Space Marines and other things. So. He's a guesting. He's uh, always called Bestigar. <laughs> Looks like a beast man. Yeah. Except he's got like a futuristic gun and a. Yeah. He, he looks, uh, looks like a. Know, the, uh, the beast were from. Yeah. From Battle Master, no? Yeah. Those one are he, he, the new <laughs> evolution. <laughs> yeah, but he's he's kitted out as if he's like a character from Mad Max or uh, the Road Warrior, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, because you can find them also in the uh, 40k. Yep. Ah, uh, yeah. So it, it it looks a lot like a friendly local game store, one of these places where yeah you can buy stuff and you can also like play, sit there at a table and play. Okay, so that's a YouTube video. All right, I'll share here in case anybody wants to explore it further. Not sponsored, just uh, sharing information. Okay, so let me just double check here. We've got the wrong ones displayed. Let me just update the display here. Okay, so we've got the elf first, then barbarian, then dwarf. I can already pretty much guess which which heroes you guys are using, but nevertheless, I'll still ask. Who's got what today? Glasgow, are you uh, going to be the elf again? Oh, yes, please. Excellent. And Bohemius, how about you? Uh, the, the Barbarian. Okay. Alright, and Jacer. And he says, speaking of games, I spent 10 on 6 minis. Warriors of Kryn? Kryn, okay. Oh, that's cool. Because right now we've got a Barbarian and we've got a Dwarf in play. We're here. This is Glen S. Fenn, Mage of the Mirror. This quest, of course, is you're looking for the spiral staircase. It leads to the next lower level. And if you're looking for artifacts, yes, there may be one of them out there. You'll just have to see. But so far, we've got this battle going on with the, the Barbarian a wounded but still alive ogre and this was the trap door that led the dwarf and the barbarian into this room so he's taken four damage he's got six left he's one of these bigger ogres and there is a closed door that he's guarding now the other trap door is is in this room here as you can see and for then the wider context There's the room, except I think we're missing a door because how did, how did you get in there? <laughs> I think this is supposed to be an open door. There we go. Now it should be right. And the wizard was last seen in this room. So if he joins us, that's where he's going to kind of start. So you go in there and avoid the traps. Boom. Okay. Boom. I think that's, uh, that one is the spot of the elf. Is it the elf? Oh, uh, so yeah. the wizard actually wasn't even in here. That's why he's at full. Oh, but... Mm -hmm. oh. You know what? But I think we, be, be, we begin the entire campaign with the bard. The bard. The wizard. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's starting to sound familiar. Yeah, 
yeah, he's uh, he hasn't been used in a little while, but he is in reserve. So yeah, we could bring in um, whatever we wanted at that point. Yeah, Bard, Which character wizard. you got in reserve? You got a wizard and a bard. Yeah, wizard and bard. I mean, if somebody wants to bring in a brand new hero, I suppose that would be possible too. It's oh, just well. just have to dig out yeah. another character sheet. Because I have yeah, I have one for the elf, barbarian, dwarf, wizard, and bard. But I've got like a stack of blank ones over there in the corner. You can always dig into. Yeah, I don't have a problem with people bringing in a new hero if they want. New character. Okay, so we'll just we'll. Put I take that it, all of our. I take it all of our henchmen are uh, are deceased. Looks that way. It's, let's see. Yep. I think we just had uh, two of them that were under your control, and while you were gone, unfortunate things happened to them. Yes, it's all coming back to me now, yeah. And Carmine is selling a Guardian Knight on eBay. Assuming it's really him. What? <laughs> okay, how much? I mean, at this point, I, I'm going to say, man, if he's scalping that thing, <laughs> then again, they did fire him. So I'm not saying I, I would just say no, $100 to start. Dang. Uh, that's on him, if, if that's him. I have it on good authority that he did give away his, uh, his other stuff to charity, but that uh, particular... Um, piece is a collector's item so i'm gonna just gonna say until i have proof i don't know for sure it's really him that'd be kind of a dirty trick if somebody was using his handle though to sell it to try to say hey this is the project leader for avalon hill former project leader at hasbro link is in discord i mean if is he gonna autograph it or something then maybe it might be worth more I've already got plenty of Guardian Knights. Yeah, that was the other thing. They made the Guardian Knight situation right by releasing it with Rise of the Dread Moon, and I think that's the that's the way to go. They're releasing these mythic things in other boxes. I just hope that trend continues. I hope they don't try to go back on it and say, oh, this is going to be exclusive again. But enough about that. Okay, guys, so are we ready? I can take my turn. I think it was my turn last time. <laughs> okay, so we're going to say... Can I, can, I do a really, can I just do a really quick run-through of what I think I have left as oh. Elf? Yes, yes. Right, so I've got Body, uh, yeah, a body 7, Mind 5. Um, I've got... Uh, Toolkit, Warhammer, Longsword, Shield, Helmet, Rallying Horn, Elven Chainmail, Elven Bracers, Longbow, Ancient Staff. Can you remind me what the Ancient Staff does again? Yeah, you have that. So if a um, Dread or Chaos spell is used on you, you can actually reflect it back against not only the monster who cast it, but all the other monsters in the room or corridor with him. And you can use it five times before it's expired. And it hasn't been used yet. Wonderful. And you also have... Uh, okay. yeah. that, that one is controversial because the uh, the app okay, lets the app you activate wrong. that. Let, yes. <laughs> I see people fighting with that idea. Yeah. I mean, you could say the app nerfed it, but my point is, why yeah. didn't they change the card if they wanted to nerf it? I mean, they just... It's decided. actually stronger. The app, if, if it hits anyone of your uh, friend, you can activate it. Oh, really? So it protects the whole party. <laughs> oh, okay. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I thought it was just okay. So if anybody, so here's two ways to do it. Anyone in the party is hit. Do they have to be together, like line of sight, or? I, I really don't know. I told you it's super controversial. So. Wow, I didn't know that. Yeah, there's so, some there's yeah, some like, yeah. strange things in the app. So maybe don't go by that unless you really really like it. Mm -hmm. So if anybody in the party gets hit, then it reflects back against the bad guy. 
So they're essentially protected from magic until it's used up. But that'll use it up a lot quicker than if it's just the guy who has it. But yeah, the effect is supposed to hit all the monsters in the room, which which can have some odd effects. And so you wonder, does it is it automatically work, or you just decide to use it? Use it. I think I'm gonna say it's just gonna be for the person who has it, and they can decide whether or not to use it. And yeah. the effect will be against all the monsters in the room or corridor. The biggest controversy was uh, a firestorm. Uh, okay, how does it reflect it? You multiply it. Okay, four people in the room. It reflected four times. <laughs> well, yeah, uh, I, it, I was, would... it, it was crazy. Okay, the controversy. Well, I could, I could. I think it's an easy, easy way to interpret it. Going by what I'm saying now, the firestorm normally affects everybody in the room, but the spellcaster. So if you've got the staff, that means it's going to hit the spellcaster. Yes. And also, they you. could. They say, You're going to trade places with the spellcaster. Firestorm, it's, firestorm does does target the uh, the player. No, target the room. So there's also that controversy. So yeah, I, I would treat it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You could say it protects all the heroes. I would treat it as you basically switch places with the the spellcaster. So he gets hit mm -hmm. by his own spell. So do all the monsters. So do all the other unprotected heroes. It's not as cool. Yeah, I like but... it. I like it more safe. Uh... If you reflect the uh, the spell uh, directed to the uh, to the elf, yeah. Yeah. it's more. It, that's my uh, point of view, similar to yours. Yeah. Now, with some spells, it would be kind of strange. So, like with rust, okay, what does rust do to a bad guy? Does it just reduce his attack to one? You know, does <laughs> Zargon decide? Well, does he have a metal weapon or not? Or does or he has a sword or a helmet, so it reduces his defense by one, or it just takes away his sword? What if he doesn't have a sword? Um, the way the app interprets Twist Wood is to say it just reduces your the monster's attack to one. So, like, it worked on the Frozen Horror. Is his weapon made out of wood? I don't know. I guess. <laughs> um, what about Werewolf Curse? Okay, so it turns all the monsters into werewolves? That'd be kind of cool. I mean, it's a chance for them to become a werewolf, not necessarily that they will be replaced by a giant wolf, but that might make it harder because what if it's just a room full of orcs or something? <laughs> you know? So it could get interesting. But yeah, you definitely have the ancient staff and you won't have many opportunities to use it, but I mean, five uses is pretty good. Yeah, I like it. Okay, so let's uh, let's th let's remember that. Uh, I've, I also think I have Treasure Without Doom still. Yes. Um, I, have, I still have Time Stop and Rock Skin left of my spells. Yes, you do. Uh, I have Potion Fire Resistance, Potion Superior Restoration, 2 plus 4 Healing Potions, Wolfsbane Potion, a Potion of Celerity, Potion Magic Resistance times 2, Antidote, Potion Alchemy, um, 60 gold coins. Yep, and that Magic Resistance, those two that you have, those are both against damage. So yeah. It's accurate. All right, anybody Great, else? Great, thank you for humoring me. <laughs> no problem. Anybody else need an update? Bohemius? Or Jacer? Uh, no, thank you. Okay. And again, the indicators you see on your screen with the little potion bottles, that's the number of healing potions that you have, so I'll try to remember to keep those up to date. So that the audience, the live audience on YouTube has a or in YouTube. <laughs> I said it wrong. The, the live audience on Twitch will know uh, maybe when it's time to send you something if they're trying to keep you alive. Or how close they are to killing you if they're trying to do that by sending monsters and cast cards to me. Ah, Polsky. Good to see you again. Thank you for banning a bot. That's so awesome. <laughs> I was beginning to wonder if you're going to come back. <laughs> hey. All right, Jacer, did you uh, need any updates? Are you good? Uh, yeah, on my sheet, I have two potions of healing, and on the screen, it's only showing one. I'm thinking you used one of them. So I just have that you have a plus four healing left. Oh, I have two of the 1d6s crossed off, but still ha showing one left. 
Okay. Am I wrong? I thought maybe you gave one of those away. Well, uh... I mean, I probably have to rewind the tape to know for sure. I'm showing that I used like every, just everything else. There was superior restoration. Uh, that I used two plus four potions of healing and two plus six one d six potions of healing and the elixir. Okay. Well, I won't argue with you about it. I'll just say sure. You've got a. And then I have. Uh, and two, four. Four. I have two, four, six, seven, eight, nine other potions about fire resistance, two magic resistance, uh, two antidotes, two wolf banes, a speed, and a potion of skill and that I used one of those last time too. Sorry, I wasn't trying to... Actually, I, the potion of skill might... St it, no, I don't think it's in effect anymore. Or it might be. I'm not sure if it is or not. That I don't have. Okay, there we go. Just hitting the wrong buttons there. Okay, so we'll say you have a 1d6 and you have a plus 4 for healing. Good? Uh, yes. Five... Yep, five body points. Or do I... Oh, do I have four body points? No, you should have five. There we go. Just got to put yeah, the right amount of pressure got... on the button. And the potion of scale you think is used up because you took damage? It might be. All right. Or All maybe right. it's not. Wait, hold on. I got seven, six, five, two. Got knocked down. Used a D6. Four, three, two, one, got knocked down, used a, the second potion, the second 1d6, and I'm at five. I think that is when I used the, before we came over here, so I think it's still active. Okay, the elf will start in the center room, but first let me do, uh, let me do my turn here. So I've got an ogre, and let's... Move over here to attack the dwarf. Dwarf for sure. They died right before you showed up. Yeah, you sure did. I'm not sure why it cropped it like that. It's kind of weird. Uh, okay, so three skulls. Four shields. Nice. Okay, what's your wrestling move going to be? Uh, you know what? Draw a card to start it off. All right. If it's the worm, I'm going to laugh so hard. Nope, it's a Stinger Splash. I think this deck is that pretty works. much... I mean, I could look and see if there's other ones, but I think the deck that I grabbed is basically just the uh, finishing moves or the signature moves of, like, the main Hall of Famer type guys. Yeah, yeah, third, it, I think it's 30 of them. So, yeah, that's the 30 main. Ah. And all the other ones are, like, punches and, and basic moves, I think. The... Uh, Another the other deck that could still work, you know. You get at your clothesline, you get your uh, suplex or whatever. <laughs> I, I've uh, taken to you know putting some of the bad guy moves, just like you know raking the eyes, throwing the salt in the face, <laughs> the brass knuckles, you know, distracted the ref, that sort of thing. Okay, all right. So that's really my only thing, unless I want to use a card. I think that's that's all I'm gonna do. So, Elf, you're up.
Uh, just to kind of reacquaint myself with the map, have we explored anything to the west of the central room? Are we? Is there any access that way that we know of or don't know of? Fair question. We had uh, undead coming from the corridors to the west. Okay, but we didn't explore the, the corridor. Yeah, you don't know what's uh, north or south of that area. Hmm. I'm kind of yeah. I'm 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 thinking of maybe taking my potion of celerity and trying to get myself up to this uh, this fight. But I'm also curious about that west corridor and if there's another way in. Um. You think you hear a little okay? Whisper, let's go. whisper in your ear saying, "This way, little." <laughs> yeah like, yeah a little, a little devil in my shoulder okay yeah let, let's 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 drink the potion of celerity and i think i'm right in saying i roll four movement dice uh actually you roll two movement dice but you can add 12 to what you've got in my interpretation oh, of. Oh, e okay that that is probably even better If we weren't using the unthreatened movement, it would probably just be, oh, it's just 12. But it's such an expensive potion, too. I'm thinking, eh, you know what? You can have it. It works extra well. Eight. So 20 squares. Okay, so let's uh, zigzag our way up to the trapdoor. Up at the northeast corner of the board. Uh, oh, whoops. Sorry. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Is all you need to get to the trap door. Yep. And it automatically um, trans transports you to the square, pushing the dwarf to the side. And Sorry, your... pal. <laughs> oh, it ends my turn? Yes. Oh, that's a tragedy. Okay. Did you not know that? <laughs> and maybe you could just... I, next to I, I, I forgot that. Yeah, I forgot that little detail. Okay, serves me right. That's a lesson learned. All right, fair enough. Okay. I mean, you could always uh, quaff another potion or something, because that doesn't require uh, anything. But otherwise, are you done? Okay, Glasgow's done. Uh, yes, I'm, I'm done. Thanks. All right. I moved two squares uh, south. And attack. Okay. One. One skull. Oh. Yes. <laughs> that never happens. You can't see me doing a victory dance at my spot here. Okay, so uh, let's see. Um, yeah, he uh, he distracts the referee and he pulls out a pair of brass knuckles and just like just socks you in the face, wham, and then quickly puts them away. <laughs> I rolled for the, ah, the rejuvenation cool. potion. <laughs> Five. Okay. Hey, knuckles. Knucklehead, PSK is here. Thank you. I'll just let me acknowledge those in a second here. Okay, so you rolled a five. All right, so Knucklehead, he's got bonus potions for heroes. And there's a healing potion gift. Nice. Thank you so much. Let's get him healed up. Yeah, and um, definitely keep an eye on your uh, on your mailbox these next few days. Okay, 
Uh, let's see. And he okay. And uh, I assume those potions are for anyone who wants them or who needs them. Okay, so we got Elixir of Life. That's that five one per turn potion. And we've got a potion of Air Walk. That's a good one. And we've got a 1d6 healing. Okay, so guys, uh, what do you think? Who wants the Air Walk? Who wants the Elixir of of life. It's the one that gives you one body point per turn over five turns when you use it. They're all good, so I don't know. <laughs> uh, and who wants the 1d6? Uh, I I'm the one lowest in uh, health. I, I could get the 1d6. The uh, dwarf might get the, uh, the elixir. And the elf, the, uh, the airwalk. Sounds good to me. Okay. So oh, great. Sorry, who's getting the airwalk? The elf. Okay. Elf. I thought he walked on air all the time. I guess this he'll walk even more on air. Okay. And then the elixir goes to the dwarf. Okay. All right. Thanks a lot. Keep things keep things going. Keep things interesting. Thank you very much. All right. So after the barbarian, got the dwarf. All right. Uh, I've um, up to three healing potions now. Yes. Oh, yeah, I got to update all the totals. Thank you, guys. And I'll attack. Oh, not a healing potion. Oops. I'll attack. Uh, well, let me roll first. One. All right, so I'm staying where I'm at. I'm going to attack with the long sword. Okay, diagonally against the ogre. All right. Two. Two. Okay. I'm just going to get some... Uh... This music is a little too tranquil for me. There we go. Good old Carl Casey. Two hits. <laughs> I'm still going to make the sound effects even if I've got the button. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Doing more damage. That ogre is reeling. Still got some fight left in him. Can I use an uncommon feat to try to? push the uh, elf out of the way sure we should be inside the trap door <laughs> <laughs> yeah but then he, when he comes back through he loses his turn again it's just a prankster okay well you decide the, what did you want You which? where are you shoving him just, just off of the... Uh, to the, to the left. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Okay. You got us. You got it. Yes. All right. So you're like, no. Yeah. My, my elf will just uh, submit to being pushed out of the way. It's only fair after shoving. Like a, like a subordinate elf. Aww. Do but Dolby. Be out of the way to get out of the trap door. I figure I'll push you out of the way in case one of us needs to jump back in that trap door. Poor 
You're all heart dwarf. Thank you. No problem. There we go. That's what I was going for. As he gets shoved to the side in slow motion, you hear the uh, Bionic Man music like. Doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> Ah, sir, make my day. Welcome to HeroQuest fans. Greetings and salutations, fellow humans, he says. Well, speak for yourself. No. <laughs> We're all humans here now. Thank you. How are you? All right, cool. So, looks like it's my turn. Hmm. I'm going to attack the barbarian again. Two skulls. I'm going to complain to Ribby. I don't know why it crops the uh, the dice. I didn't think it did that before. I mean, Ribby's a great guy, but... Two shields. I don't think he's Ribby. Uh, probably they did another update on uh, Discord. Sometimes if you post... Like, even yeah. if you post a photo, they are like crops. Yeah, because before I think it scaled it, which was, which was fine. So now yeah, it's, instead of scaling it, it's it's just probably I can still tell what it's, it's supposed weird. to be. The problem of this for, um, just it's like a few days, two, three days. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's just not his fault. It's just uh, he should be aware of it if there's some way to change it, or maybe he can't do anything about it. Five is just fine. Okay, so yeah, you easily easily deflected everything. <laughs> Hope that's not too obnoxious. Okay. Well, that'd be funny. I could flee. Nah, he's gonna stay. He's, he's on guard duty. Okay, heroes. Scales on phone. Okay, well maybe it's an individual setting. Maybe... Oh, thank you. Yeah, that looks... That looks fine. And see, that's how I'm used to seeing it. Or the images would just be slightly smaller. So yeah, maybe there's a setting on the PC to fix it. it or is it your window size? Because it doesn't seem like it's taken up the full uh, gray square before. Oh no, maybe not. Yeah, I'm just, I'm not sure, because it's, it's kind of hard to find settings sometimes. They just kind of put them wherever they want to, and you just kind of have to search around until you find it. Well, all right, so complaint for the, the Discord people. The celerity also do, lets them do two attacks. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so on his next turn, he could do it. You're right. Yeah, because it lasts until he takes damage, if I remember correctly. Yep, he has to take one body point of damage for it to go away. So, with that in mind, ah, thank you, Wardicon. Let's increase the threat level. Good evening, Freelancer. Ah, combat dice color change. Doing all kinds of chaos tonight. Blue is the next color. So the next roll has to roll blue. Okay. So Glasgow, what do you think? Okay, let's go one south. And uh, we'll attack with the Warhammer and 
well, I intended to, to do two attacks. Am I doing this like the Polar War Bear does it? Yes. So it'd be rolling eight dice, eight blue dice specifically. Okay, I see two skulls. And a wrestling move. Lots of shields. Uh, I only see two white shields. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, it cut it off. It definitely cut it off. Yep. Darn it. You're right. Three, three, uh... Three white, three black, and... Two skulls for the eight dice. That's going to bug me. Okay, well, at least you guys are calling it out so I can look at it. Thank you. It's got to be a setting. I just don't want to spend all this time messing with it. Text and images. Let's see. The image descriptions. Not a complete text box. Split view. I don't know. Yeah, if somebody knows how to fix it, let me know. Okay, so it's yeah, it's definitely a wrestling move and two hits. Okay, so we're going to go for a double axe handle off the top of the door frame. Oh man, he's got one left. All right. So the elf climbs up. <laughs> he already knocked him down. He jumps off. Ah, bam! Right on top of his head. <laughs> He's just barely hanging on. I'm going to get rid of this pile. This is getting annoying. <laughs> he has one left. All right. That already become extra tall. Yep. <laughs> Nine tiles. <laughs> he, dra he drags himself to his feet. Well, see, this is using the official figure and the official tile, so there's no excuse for that. <laughs> I always wondered if it... I mean, if you stack it just perfectly, it's not going to fall over. But, yeah. Okay, excellent. Wait a minute. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, you got him. Just kidding. So he, he walks forward a couple of steps, and then he falls flat on his face like Ric Flair. And he's out of there. Got him. Okay. All right, Elf, you've still got movement left. We're back to white dice again, of course. Oh, oh so I can split my movement with celerity. Uh, no. Or you moved in to attack him, is that what you mean? Yeah, I, m I moved oh, one south, yeah. Fair enough. No, no, you're right. Yeah, it, it, he can't. <laughs> it's one movement and two attacks. So, yeah, I think only the uh, only the monk gets to split. So, okay, so you're done. My bad. Next, Bohemius. The Barbarian. Open the door. The door was in front of me. Or I'm um, wrong. Oh, because I knocked it over. Yeah, you're right. It was. He did the little cartoon thing where he grabs the door and he like pulls it to the side and it, it lines up correctly. <laughs> Maybe Scotty couldn't change the laws of physics, but you can. All right, so in the room you see torture rack. Torture rack and some other things. Monsters to be specific. 
So there's a skeleton here. Zombie here. Zombie there. Another skeleton here. And a pair of mummies. And that's what you see. And I should roll for elites here. Six. <laughs> but he had the high ground, yes. Okay, I hate to do this. Oh, I know how I'll do it. Okay, so we'll say skeletons. Okay, no elites. We'll have zombies. One elite, second one. And then mummies. Second one's elite. So we got a couple elite undead units. Okay, Bohemius, what do you think? Okay, uh, move to square inside the room. All right, that's a spirit. Okay, so that's the old sound effect. Ching, and one hit got him. Ah, book him, Dano. Heroes, I have a whopping 940 gold coins, so how to spend. Well, if you hang around long enough, they do build up. But, uh, yeah, it's up to you. <laughs> okay. All right, Dwarf got a three, so I charge in there next to the Barbarian. And uh, I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go for the uh, the zombie next to the barbarian. All right. Long sword again. Yes. Two skulls. Okay. I could be rolling the sound effect every time you guys roll, I suppose. I actually uh, recorded my own dice sounds, so I've got like different sounds for different dice. Okay, so doesn't look too good. Let's see what he gets. Nope, got, got him. Grog. <laughs> yeah, how do you spend your money, Grog? I like that one. Yes. Need the gulp sound effect. Okay. That's it for the dwarf. All right. All right, Sargon's turn. I was just realizing the barbarian's the only one who has skills right now. Two skill cards, footwork and keen hearing, right?
I used uh, a footwork last week, so oh, only okay. keen hearing. Only keen hearing. Well, that makes sense why I had the card out, not the other one. I always take photos, but I don't necessarily write notes. I probably should do both. Thanks. Okay. Um, in this case, let's see. Yeah, mummy's going to move forward. Elite mummy, I should say, and attack the barbarian. Lumbers forward. Ah, skill card for the dwarf. Thank you. Or for the elf. Sorry, for the elf. All right, so you get a disarm and capture, Glasgow. Thank you very much. As soon as I said that, it's like, oh, don't have skills. Well, she's we'll some skills to pay the bills. Okay, so Bohemius, what's your roll? Your defense. Two skulls against you there. Only one shield. What damage? Yep. Okay. So you have four. All right, let's move the other mummy in. One, two, to attack. Attacking the barbarian again. Another monster here. Missed. Or no, got one. <laughs> got one. Deflected it easily. Bear. <laughs> Easily, barely, yeah. Swiftly, slowly. Okay, so now we're going to have the one skeleton attack the dwarf. Missed. This time he did miss. Yeah, there's no need to no need to respond in that case. Just wondering why I didn't hear a sound effect for that one. Let me just double check real quick. Okay, that skeleton moves out of the way. One, two, three. This skeleton moves in. One, two, three, four. And attacks the dwarf. Blocked it. Just kind of making adjustments on the fly here to some of these. Needs to be just a little bit quieter. There we go. Okay. Um, all right, that's it for me. Back to the heroes. Okay, can the elf switch to shield and longsword? Yep. And we'll go to east and we'll do a, a double attack. 
on the skeleton. Shield and longsword, okay. So it'd be six. You can roll the other three, too. You just count them as one big attack. That's how I, I do it. So three. Okay. Yeah, I don't I don't think he's going to be able to match that. Nope. <laughs> Toasty. Got him. <laughs> I think you got him. All right. Anything else for you, Glasgow? No, nope, that's me over. All right, Bohemius. Sorry, I was muted. Two skulls on the uh, elite mummy. Okay. And I step back in the corner and one north, yeah, exactly, yeah. All right, so the dwarf is going to go one space south and attack that uh, elite mummy. Were you saying something there, Bohemius, or just saying you're done? Just cheating for Jacer. All right. Let's go, Jacer. All right, two. Not bad. Blocked one, got hit by the other. Got him. All right, cool. Up to you now. That's right. All right, that mummy is going to attack the dwarf. Two skulls. Awesome. Uh, draw a card, please. Bionic Elbow. Alright. So, uh, you suddenly notice that he's got uh, polka dots on his, uh, on his tights there, and he does, does his little dance, and then, wham! That elbow comes crashing down on his head. Ah! Uh. Okay, with that he staggers back, one, two, three, skeleton moves forward, one, two, to attack the dwarf. Missed. All right, heroes. Okay, uh, can the elf, uh, let's move immediately to the west of the mummy. And we'll do a double attack on the mummy. 
All right. Okay, so I see three, four, five skulls. <laughs> Got him. Down he goes. He looks like uh, a package that a kid ripped open on Christmas Day. <laughs> and go to square south. And All right. Three spots. Trying to get the sound effect. Oh, I can do that over here. There we go. Okay, so his defense. Let's see, get anything? Oh, we blocked one. Didn't matter. Didn't matter at all. Got him. Okay, that's a room clear of monsters. Uh, let's do a search for secret doors. Okay, so the dwarf searches for secret doors. Room here. Yeah, thanks anyone who's joining us late. We are playing Glen S. Fen of Mage of the Mirror here on HeroQuest Fans, live on Twitch, not live on YouTube. Thanks, everybody, for participating and supporting us. All right, so in this room, you detect no secret doors. Yeah, thanks, Ruby. See the cutoff issue? Just how Discord is playing things in this smaller side window. So if I blow it up to full, it still does it. Yeah. Bummer. If I drag it, doesn't matter. I wonder if I use it in a browser instead of the app, does it matter? I'll have to try that later. For now, we'll just roll with it. Yeah. All right, there's no, there's no monsters. I'd like to take uh, two movement to the north into that red room. All right. All right. Thank you. OPG and You're Apocalypse right. says, I love the points implementation with stream points. Yeah, thanks. It's kind of a system we've been refining, and I don't mind if people use similar systems in their HeroQuest games if they want to. It's uh, worked out for us pretty well. It's pretty fun. I'm at work, my good man. Obviously really busy, see? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Ribby. But uh, could you kind of hop to it? Oh, just kidding. <laughs> thanks. Got a free orc hero spot. It's always kept warm for you. In case you want it. Alright, well have a good day, man. No no worries. Join us on the next one if you if you're if you're around, if you're able. Appreciate the work you do. He's got some big plans for the future of Ribby's Remarkable Rims, and I'm excited for one. Okay. So uh sorry, uh Jacer, um, were you going to do anything else on that turn, or you're done? Because that was your action. Yeah, my action was uh, searching for the secret doors. Okay. And yeah, I moved into the red room because there's nothing in the green one. So it's your turn. All right. I'll just increase the threat level here. Ruby says it displays full with image in mobile, but on desktop it is now cutting the images off at a certain point unless you click on it, it displays the full thing. Yeah. 
I wondered if there was a setting to fix it, but that's that's annoying. <laughs> I liked it the other way. Oh well. But I mean, I could also run this in a browser, but probably not right now. Okay, I'm done. Glasgow, back to you. Uh, can we do a treasure without doom? Yes. All right. So that means uh, I think we keep on drawing until you get uh, a good card, basically. It's pretty nice. So it's even better than a torch. Like what did you say, Bohemius? Oh, bonus treasure search. Yep, I see it now. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to use the treasure without doom with the regular treasure search first, or do you want to use the bonus treasure search first? Uh, let, let's just use the regular treasure search just now. Okay. Airwalk. All right, so you got a potion of airwalk. Since it was safe, you don't have to worry. And that makes two of those since I got a gift recently. Yep. Ooh, Mordecai just cashed in a bunch of stuff. Thank you, my good man. Or my evil man, however the case may be. Okay, I'm just wondering, guys, uh, did we do secret door searches last week in the other quadrant of the dungeon on the northeast corner? Uh, is there any potential for secret passages over that way that we haven't found? We search everything there, if I am correct. Um, we still need to search a, the previous room, the one with the trap door. Yeah. Okay, so let's just head in there and we'll go one square north of the dwarf. Okay. Now, as the elf, of course, you know, you can always search for treasure, but, uh... All right, so you're going into the north room? Uh, yes, please. We'll just step up one to the north of, uh, our good friend the dwarf, and we'll end our turn there. All right, let me just read Ribby's comment. I was thinking as a fix, maybe I could just have each dice face be a completely separate image discord is limited to 10 images per message sent don't know if the results would be any better fair enough unless it would like auto detect if there were six dice and well it would have to create a new image every time of like all the dice that sounds like it'd be very needlessly complex okay so Wordicon has a bonus treasure search still possible um, threat card for Zargon chaos card for Zargon thank you I like that. And I'm going to have to. Oh, perfect. Okay, so the elf. Uh, search for treasure. Oh, but it's without doom. Okay. All right, I'm just going to do an interpretation here. So a mimic was triggered in this room here. So that torture rack starts like, it starts creaking and moving and you see it's got like teeth and it's coming, it's coming to life. It's got 10 movement, three attack, four defense, one body, three mind. But Guys, you knew not going. You're not going to believe this. <laughs> Just. <laughs> but we'll subtract one since I use. The people come alive. Uh, want to kill me? Well, uh, come on, quit uh, joking sure. around, barbarian. Come in here. <laughs> <laughs> Try. Oh, let me attack this. Uh... But you're going to attack me before? No, no, no. I just, it just, it basically it's just like a okay. monster just, appears in the room. Yeah. It just uh, anime. Okay. Yeah. Oh, let's kill the table. 
torture me, will ya? Aha! No. Please go. Okay. So I defend with four. Two hits. Got him. Never mind, guys. It was just noise. It was just a little noise in the room. That mimic's uh, a lot yeah. nicer than my mimic. <laughs> my mimics have one body point per space they take up, so like the chairs uh -huh. and the chest are small. You smash it. But the uh, bookshelves are three, and then the bigger yeah. furniture's all six. <laughs> like you smash a corner of it, and there's more left. Oh, book him, Dano. Were you trying to upgrade him? Was that was that meant for the mimic? I might not have read it quick enough. So I'm going to move in the uh, previous room, the red room, by the side of the dwarf. Okay, okay. Let's let's give him a chance here. Um, hold on. So. Let's see. You did three body points of damage. Ching, and he took two. Yeah, I don't think it would have mattered. If I gave him... Yeah, if I gave him an extra body point, he still would have died. So, Okay, well, we'll just say that that's what it was. Okay, and uh, what, what were you going to do? I'm moving uh, in the red room by the side of the, uh, the dwarf. Okay. And that's it. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, search for secret doors. All right. You find a secret door. Right here, actually. The elf is standing right on it now. Leading into that blue room. All right. Um... I will stay where I'm at. Oh, wait, no, wait. I want to use the bonus search for treasure. Okay. Okay, hazard, we ignore that. Safe search. Potion of Healing, 1d6. Okay, I'm going to pass that to the Barbarian. Barbarian gets 1d6 healing, okay. All right, now we all have three. Make sure I remember to write it down here. Yep, and uh, just move. Yep, just saw it move. All right, uh, you're up. What about Asia? No, I was kidding. <laughs> I am up. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, huh. So nice to draw a really good card that would just destroy you all. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, good enough. Heroes. Okay, before I open this door, I just want to tell the Barbarian that if there's any bad guys in here, to focus on them and not the furniture. Uh, uh, right, okay, can we have a look, uh, in, look, in, a look inside the room, the please? Was looking mean. <laughs> okay, so you're opening the door to the room. Alright, and you see... An ogre standing right there in the doorway, ready for you. And you also see a sorcerer's table behind him. 
And you also have found the second spiral staircase right there. Okay, I'll step one to the north. And we'll do a double attack with the longsword. Nice. Six dice. And I'll click on it so I can see what they are. Okay, so I see three skulls and a wrestling move. Nice. Okay, I'm going to go for a very ironic belly-to-belly -belly suplex <laughs> on the ogre. <laughs> okay. All right, let me uh, let me also see what his what he gets for defense as well. Hey, freelancer. Oh, thank you, Wardicon. Okay, so I blocked two of them, but I still get hit by the wrestling move. Okay. So belly to belly suplex. Ugh, bam. Almost threw him out of the ring, but he crawled back in. Kept one toe over the line, so he's he's still uh, still in the fight. He did take a hit of damage. All right, let's see what the bonus potion was. I think he takes two damage. Oh, was I wrong? Let's see. Oh, you're right. Three skulls. Yeah, darn it. <laughs> Delayed reaction. At least he's not on the edge of the board, so I'm going to risk having him fall over. In February, when we do the next guest stream, I'm going to try to see if we can rig it up so I can actually walk around the board. <laughs> That'd be really nice. You don't have to reach so far. Okay. So we got a bonus potion. Looks like it's healing one red die. So 1d6 healing. Who gets it? Wordicon, do you have a purpose? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm fine giving it to the dwarf as long as Wordicon didn't have a different suggestion. Most of the time, it seems like when people buy them, it's just kind of whoever wants it, whoever needs it. Okay, we'll give it to the dwarf. Okay, so you did some damage. And after Glasgow, a Bohemius. Uh, moving two squares, close the door, and attack the over. Okay. I'm going to use the uh, potion of battle to roll this attack. Okay. Alright, potion of battle. Okay. Do you re-roll? Worst. <laughs> well, I mean, we still skull. still one skull. Okay. All right, monster defends. Ah, oh, blocked it. So we cross off potion of battle. Good thing there's no potion of battle rage quit. That would not be a very good potion. The 
Looks like you've still got Heroic Brew, though. If you didn't didn't know that already. Okay. Chaser. Potion of Rage against the Discord devs. Yeah, you're not wrong. All right, I will attack. Wrestling move. It's going to be... Uh, well, roll your defense in case you counter it. Well, that's true. That's true. Well, normally I consider it a miss, so I won't roll. What's your move going to be? Okay, um, you know what, let's, let's keep the cards rolling. Choke slam. Nice. <laughs> All right, you pick it's him up. the corner table, bounces back. Ugh. Oh, man, it must, must have been one of those Japanese tables. Didn't break. Anybody who's watched Botchamania knows what I mean. Okay. The tables are like smaller and more compact, so if people get thrown against them and they don't break, it's like, oh man, ouch. All right. Okay. All right. So your turn. I'm not. I'm gonna stay there. All right. Ah. Okay. I'm gonna use Chaos Champion. So this monster looks more evil than the others. I get to attack twice and move twice this turn if I want to. Let's see. Barbarian's right in my sights. This is going to be great. A bonus monster. Thank you, Ribby. Uh, yeah, let's, let's find out what that's going to be. All right. Uh, when the uh, sorcerer's table was shaken by the ogre landing on it, like a zombie, like creeps out of a little drawer. Ah, stands there. Okay. So the uh, ogre attacks with two, uh, two times the normal, so it's twelve against the barbarian. Okay, this is insane. Okay, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven skulls. Dodge that. Three shields. So, wrestling move. <laughs> okay, so you get a wrestling move. Should I draw a card for you? Uh, I got... Yeah, yes. Get, get a card, please. Okay, I need to fix my screen here. Isn't scaling the image? Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I can see it on my end. Okay, so you got three, so you blocked three of those. And one, two, three, four still hit you, but you do get a three-point clothesline. So, bam! So you slam him into the, into the table again, and he still falls off. It doesn't break. He takes another hit of damage. All right, and you take four damage. So I'm going 
to zero. So I'm going to use a uh, uh, one d six potion. Okay. So you're down to two of those. One. Well, I had two. Oh, I meant you had uh, three of those potions, and now you have two left. Unless you're using more than one here on this turn. Okay, so you got two back. All right, are you using a second potion, or just thinking about it? Uh, no. Should I? <laughs> uh, it's, it's totally up to you. <laughs> Barbarian. Healing potion. Okay. You just got another one, so now you've got three. Thanks, Ruby. Okay. Um... Come into my web, says the spider to the fly. Oh, I guess it doesn't make much difference, does it? Okay. Alright, so that's all I'm going to do. The zombie on the next turn, if he survives. Alright, heroes. Okay, I'm going to cast Time Stop on the Barbarian. Ah, interesting. So that means he gets a mulligan? Is that how that works? I get to do another round uh, extra. Oh, I think. second turn. Yes. Very cool. From now on, we're going to do things my way. Okay. We'll go for it then. So, uh, how is it going to work? I'm going to do two turns consecutive. Let's see. I... So what I, what I thought it, what I thought it meant was that I I, I finish my turn and then you, the barbarian takes two turns. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because he takes one right yeah. after right after another, so he can move in, make an attack, and then a second turn he can attack and step back out. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I agree. Okay. So I'll first. Okay. So let's do that. Enter inside. Suck the ogre. Oh, but is oh oh I get it. I as his action, the elf casts that and then. Yeah, cast the spell. Got it. Okay, so Barbian, Barbarian, uh, what were we going to do? You're going to go into the room? Yes. Okay. Putting all your weight on that square. Jumping up on down on it a few times just to be sure. <laughs> it's safe. Because even if a trap was there and ended his turn, he could still take the second turn. Okay. All right, against the ogre, I'm guessing? Okay. Nothing. Not three hits on him. And, um, how many body points he got left? We got four left. Okay, so Tucker Gate. This calls. Okay. Ching and another hit. Then move out of way. Uh, 
Two. But <laughs> I go back. It's good leg day. One. Yes. <laughs> I can. I can go. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do it. Uh, Are you going to stay? Actually, here? yeah. It's more convenient. I'm going inside the uh, the trap door. Aha! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he appears all the way on the other side. There. That is pretty funny. Tally ho! All right, uh, I will move one step north. And attack the ogre. Wrestling move. <laughs> wow. Card? Uh, I'll take another card. Yes, please. World's strongest slam. It has to be against that ogre. <laughs> All right. So you got him. Like, whoa. Okay, let's make sure I've got an accurate count on these body points here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is number nine. Number nine. He was on the diagonal, though, right? Yes. Here we go. Hey, yep. Uh, um, and that was my move and my attack. So you're up. Okay. Or Eurasia, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Australasia. Okay. Um, be funny. Oh, see, it's going to be one or the other, though. So I don't have much choice. Um. Well, the ogre only has one, so yeah. I might kill him and you might get both attacks in. That's true. Or <laughs> you might kill the zombie. Or, oh, yeah, yeah, or the zombie. I thought it was a mummy for some reason. Okay, yeah. Or I could kill the zombie. So I don't have any cards that would do me any good. Ah, okay. All right, ogre moves forward to attack the dwarf. Chaos champion is used up. Okay, I see one skull and three black shields. I get a wrestling move. Go ahead, roll your defense. Jacer. All right, I managed to block it all. I'll use my wrestling move to counter your wrestling move and the extra shield to block the goal. Yeah, see, it looked like you didn't even roll the right number of dice, but I see what you mean. Wow. Okay. So, yeah, you blocked it all, countered a wrestling move, so nothing. Oh, man. In that case, I'm going to use this card here, Monster Swap. As if by magic, the monsters have switched places. I'm just going to put the zombie on top. I know it's those aren't his body, body hits. Okay. Zombie attacks. I just don't want the whole thing to fall over. <laughs> House of Cards. Okay, zombie attacks with two. Nothing changed in the Metrobot side. Honest boss. Well, I see that little uh, that line on the corner. Okay. That's oh, the zombie got me for one. 
Uh-huh. I go down to four body points and I lose the effect of the potion of skill. Oh, man. That's what happens. Got him. Good use of the monster swap. Yeah, it doesn't come in handy very often. Usually I save it for a boss fight, but it works. Okay, so no more potion of skill. Just like you said. Okay, that's it for me. All right, we need the elf to do some zombie slaying. Okay, so I'm going to use one of my attacks uh, with the longsword on the zombie. Okay. Missed. Oh, dear. Okay, uh, let's uh, try again. <laughs> How are you getting to try again? Oh, it's the double. I thought I could. No, it's you're right. Yeah, yeah, I do it as a single combine, so you can. Yeah. All right. No, well, actually, unless unless I'm cheating here, because my intention was to attack once, and then move in, then attack a second time. Yeah, but remember, I was saying I decided not to allow that. It's you. You either combine it into a mm. single attack against one target, or if you happen to be like adjacent or diagonal to another monster you could like attack one and the other so okay so i can attack the zombie a second time but i can't move in right okay yeah splitting your well combined though you got a wrestling move on him in one hit so even if he blocks it well let's see what okay, so defense okay <laughs> you got him <laughs> All right, what do you do? What do you do to him? Well, uh, we're, we're going to do the Ghetto Blaster. Ghetto Blaster. Oh, man. I'm going to have to look that one up. Ah, oh, that's, that's a cool one. So, yeah, it's like a, a handstand and then like a step-up kick right to the back of the head. It's going to take the zombie's head clean off. Bam! Alright, you kick his head off. He goes flying down the stairs. Bounce, 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 bounce. And his body goes flying backwards onto the table. And it doesn't break. Love it. Got him. Let's move this stack over. Oh, can I, can I also do a night move uh, to south of the ogre? Nimble little fella. Little. Okay, we'll, pa we'll, we'll pass on to uh, my dwarf come side by side with a friend. <laughs> I. Okay, uh, we've got a bonus treasure search, by the way. Thanks, Wardicon. So the barbarian take the, uh, the search. Yeah. yeah. Search this room. Bonus treasure search? Yes. Gold! You search and find small amounts of gold hidden in several places. But lose track of the time. Roll one die, multiply the result by 10 to see how many coins you find. Miss your next turn. Yep. One. Got 10 gold, man. Every one of those little pennies needs to be found. <laughs> okay, so you've got five. You will have five hundred and forty-five, but you're going to lose a turn. Okay. Okay, that's just my reminder that uh, it is after four. How are you guys doing on time? Doing okay. Okay. 
Yeah, I can do another half hour. It should be more than enough to finish this quest, if uh, I don't mind uh, spoiling it just a little bit. Okay. All right, after the Barbarian. The All right, warrior. I'm going to attack diagonally with the longsword. One. As you do. Okay, one skull. Blocked it. All right, I'm going to take uh, one step in front of the dwarf. Or in, step in front of the elf. All right, he takes one step in front of himself. He's kind of surprised to see himself standing there. And then he... So just kidding. And then he steps in front of the elf. He was beside himself. Just for a moment. Um, that, that's it for me. On to the ogre. Moment of self-realization. Okay. The ogre, undeterred by this, is like, okay, this is it. This is it. All right. He's going to go for it. Attacking the dwarf. This is what you seek. Okay. So we got five skulls. Beat that. Okay, so you take four damage. All right, what are you gonna use for healing? I'm gonna use uh, one D six. All right, so that'll bring me down to one of those three healing potions total. Oh, I just guessed. Five. That was close. Okay, so you back up with five. Okay, so you've got a 1d6 and a plus 4. And the elixir of life and the elixir regenerates. Of life. Yeah, so yep. Three, three total. Got it. All, All right. right, and Heroes. back to the elf. Okay, uh, I'll cast rock skin on the dwarf. The last of his earth spells. Last of his spells total. Okay. So that'll be plus two for the dwarf's defense. All right. Bohemius. And keeping the turn. All right. He continues to find more gold. Under here, he finds some more gold in the fire. Ooh, ow, 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 he got it. Oh, oh, he found some Washer. more over here. <laughs> okay, he's finding so much gold, though. All, all ten. All ten coins are going to be accounted for. All right, dwarf. All right, we swing away. Swing away. Three skulls this time. Ah, respectable. respectable. Three skulls. Three skulls. No, oh, two hits. Two hits. I think you got him. That's right. Rock fist. <laughs> All right. Uh, he falls in slow motion, just smashing, smashing through the uh, sorcerer's table. Uh, just wreckage. There's like broken bottles, pieces of parchment, you know, just random things just strewn all over the place. Splintered wood. I just throw skulls everywhere. Okay.
All right, and then I will move two spaces to the right. Okay. You're standing on all kinds of, like, broken stuff and just, just items strewn all over the place. Yep. I got my foot on the ogre's chest and everything. <laughs> standing there waiting for uh, someone to draw my portrait. <laughs> Our hero, ladies and gentlemen. All right, um, that, that'll end my turn. Okay. All right, give me one second here. Be right back. Oh, does that mean it was a bad card? <laughs> Okay, guys. Um, hero's turn. Okay, so I'll whop out the Samsung and take a few snaps of the dwarf on top of the ogre's <laughs> corpse. Maybe do some funny stuff. Yep. He points his toes together uh, and, and he does the I... victory sign with his fingers. <laughs> uh, and can I do a search for treasure? Yes. Indeed you can. Okay. The elf searches for treasure. Under the wreckage of the sorcerer's table, he finds a rare artifact known as the Sky Orb. Oh, I, I forgot about that. The Sky Orb, that's right. We were told about that at the beginning of this. Mm -hmm. So we reveal sky the, orb. the Sky Orb. The hero who possesses this orb may use it to absorb a total of four mind points of damage. Each time the hero would normally suffer the loss of one mind point, they instead hand Zarg on one of the blue Sky Orb tokens and suffer no mind point damage. And all four tokens have been handed to Zargon, the Sky Orb is rendered useless. So, that was kind of a secondary mission objective, and uh, I haven't even punched it out yet, so let's uh, do we a little deal. ASMR. Let's see. Okay, so we got that. That's the actual Sky Orb, and then each of the tokens. Very nice. Uh, okay, so I'm ready to go down these stairs as long as my comrades in arms are okay with it. Oh, I see. So it starts with four, and three, two, one, and then it's used up. They're Dragon Balls. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> Maybe that's the crossover that we're looking for. So I guess like that. Okay, so you're going to go down the stairs if nobody objects? Yeah, I mean, I, I guess in reality we'd be a bit concerned about what uh, the Barbarian's up to um, in the other room, um, given his recent antics. <laughs> um, maybe oh, we should discuss... <laughs> Like, yeah, maybe we should maybe be discussing booking him in to see some specialist back in town. <laughs> Friend, the grog is this way. <laughs> you like pour a little bit on the stairs to try to entice him. <laughs> is it my turn? Uh, yeah. yeah, so I think I think uh, I think to I think to uh, oh, no. 
yeah, to replicate reality, we'll wait for our uh, barbarian friend to come back through, and then we'll head out together. We'll just make sure he makes it out okay. Well, uh, I'll jump in the truck door. I heard, I heard the echo of the grog talking. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't want to miss the party. All right, so he jumps across. All right, so he's uh, he's in the red room and his Door. turn ends. All right. I will do a search for secret doors. All right, search for secret doors in the room. No secret doors are found. Alright, I'll I'll take two steps south towards the stairs and tell the barbarian to head this way. Okay. Draw a card. All right, hero's turn. Okay, I'll resist the temptation to use disarm and capture on the barbarian, and I'll just start heading down the stairs and get him to follow. <laughs> it's like you throw him over your shoulder. Come on. Sorry about this. Sock him in the face. <laughs> okay, so you're heading down the stairs? Yes, please. All right. The elf heads down with the sky orb, and he has successfully completed the quest. Congratulations. I'll move out. I'm following the, uh, the elf. What? So, if I get to use the, uh, the sky orb, should I strap it on top of my helmet <laughs> and use it as a protection? <laughs> That would be pretty funny. You guys, you can just guys can decide on the next quest how you wanna how you wanna do it. <laughs> no, no, I'm just wondering in case uh, I had to use it. How the barbarian oh. would use it? So. Well, <laughs> my understanding here from what it says is whoever possesses it may yeah, exactly, use it but... to absorb a total of four mind points of damage so yeah one hero could like use it and then like give it to someone else and then they get hit they use it yeah i, I was uh i was thinking about the uh role play implications of the barbarian oh, yeah. <laughs> the sky orb <laughs> in his head yeah. well, in top of his head. it might be it might be in his well, head yeah he could wear a, a large head <laughs> headpiece it's like duct taped yeah. to his head he and, an elaborate turban that has it <laughs> under like, the elbow. Yeah, <laughs> like you got a big head. No, he opens a little hatch. You see it like glowing <laughs> through. I'm going out. Yeah. All right, down the stairs he goes. All right. Uh, search for treasure. All right. I don't think we searched this blue room. Let's see, the bonus searches have been used up, so this is a regular search, I think. We know how you, Jason. You want to... uh, All right. You have right. searched for monsters. <laughs> Not for treasure. Right. <laughs> oh, I got a hazard. Actually, I get a lot of hazards. <laughs> you don't fool anyone anymore. Hazard pay. <laughs> well, that'd be interesting. Hazard pay. Like, so every time you get hit by a hazard, that counts. And so at the end of the quest, you cash in all that gold. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, just think it out loud. I kind of like the bounty idea better. Okay, so he's down to four. All right. So we got your movement. Uh, no, that ends my turn. Oh, it I, does? All, tr all oh. hazards, I think, do. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I forgot. You're right. It's not like a... Well, I guess the spear trap's the same way. My bad. Okay. All right. I saw I still a chance to kill you. Okay. 
You know, that doesn't really... Let me just check something here. Yeah, just discard. Okay. All right. Your turn. All right, I will search for traps. No traps. All right, I jump down the stairs. I'm oh, done. <laughs> it's like, come on, just stick around. <laughs> stick around, deep wide. All right. I know, on. there's other rooms I can search, but I think we got everything good. Yeah, okay. All right, congratulations. You've completed the quest of Glen S. Finn. All right. I'm actually thinking this is probably a good place to stop, but I can definitely give you a preview of next time, if you like. Preview, yes. please. All right. So next quest, and this is going to confuse a lot of, like, longtime fans, because quest eight is called The Gathering Storm. Yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. The Gathering Storm, uh, a name that a lot of fans, I think, taken after Phoenix, applied to the game system, actually is the eighth quest of Mage of the Mirror back in 92. So quest eight, The Gathering Storm. Sinestra now knows of your mission. She is gathering her evil servants to oppose you. You must hurry on despite her efforts. The closer you get to the lowest level of the castle, the greater the danger to Melandriel, the princess. Speed is your only ally now. From the spiral staircase that brought you down from the first level, search the second level for another spiral stairway, leading lower still. And that'll have to wait till next week. All right, guys. Thanks for the game. Everybody Everybody should go back. Um, let's see. All scale, skills are reset. We'll draw new ones next time. Everybody gets healed completely. All their spells come back. Bonnie Mind Points restored to normal levels. Quest complete. Cheers, guys. All the best. See you next time. Yeah. And we'll see if there's somebody we can raid here at the end. Now, tomorrow I do have a family event to go to, but I should be back in time to do our usual regularly scheduled stream of Rise of the Dreadman at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. I'll try to give you a heads up if we're going to be late or something, but um, that's the plan anyway. Let's see. All right. See anybody we should raid? Any suggestions? Let's see what we got here. Uh, if you don't have anybody, next level paintings doing some painting. Okay, yeah, go ahead and type his name in the chat. His or her. Try to read him. Is it all just one word, next level painting, or... Yeah, next time shopping and quest eight. Yep. Gathering storm. Okay, is it? Um, I wanted it in the Discord. Oh, you did. Okay. Because I, I, I don't know. If uh, I forget about if you gave me permission for the Twitch. So. Oh, I don't mind if people post links, as long as they're not. Yeah, I never know who has them blocked and who doesn't. I mean, unless it's something inappropriate, you know. <laughs> but uh, I'm pretty trusting. Okay, so we'll raid next okay. level painting. Thanks, guys. Everybody, take care. Hero Quest fans.